Yo, yo, YouTube. This is Chad here coming to you from Honeycomb Fingerboards. Coming at you guys with another little update video. You guys know what it is. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is putting this deck in the mold, laying a fourth coat down on our decks, which is going to be the last coat, and then those guys are done. And then probably going to sand up some decks. It's like a really freaking nice day out, so... I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can so I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the garage and get started on today's work all right so before I get started with anything I really wanted to show you guys these decks on the sunlight cuz I mean they're already looking really good inside but trust me whenever that Sun hits them like it's a whole nother game, so I'm about to take these outside and show them to you guys. Alright, so here are the decks just after the third coat, and I mean, as you guys can see, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm like blinding myself. Oh my gosh. Like, we still have one more coat to go. Just need one more coat and these are gonna be done. I mean, they're almost looking done now, but one more coat and they'll, they'll be looking crazy. So I'm gonna get to that right now. All right, so we're back out in the garage, checking out those hot mamas. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get that deck out of the mold and get that drilled and then Go ahead and sand them. Just kind of get like the rough cut. I'm not gonna do any fine sanding today, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut, and then I'll buff those kind of with the, you know, the outdated <laughs> sandpaper, and then lay down that last coat, and then I think we'll be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that guy out. All right. So I went ahead and took that deck out of the mold and tapped up the holes. And then went ahead and traced kind of like my width of, I guess like outline. So that way I know, you know, that's pretty much 32 millimeters right there. So went ahead and did that for all five of these decks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sand up just the sides for now. And then I'll do like what I did before and then go ahead and drill the rest of the way, trace around with my template and then go ahead and, you know, proceed with the rest of it. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand off the sides. Whew, all right guys, so here we go. Alright, so a couple of minutes and a big pile of sawdust later, we got ourselves some decks. Not quite, but almost. And that's, look at these side plies. That's why I made that face whenever I was sanding them. Like, holy fuck. Talk about sexy. And that's the one with kind of like the blue that died through. But honestly, I don't even give a fuck. I'll, I'll sesh this deck. <laughs> Shit, that thing is looking sexy as hell. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tap or drill through the rest of the hole. You know, like I said before, what I like to do is get them kind of squared off so that those holes are dead center. And then that way, whenever I put it down flat, you know, the holes are flat. And then that way, the hole or the drill drills, you know, very evenly straight through. So, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, drill these all the way through and I'm gonna come back to you guys. And there we go guys. Got the holes all the way drilled through. So now what I'm gonna do is take my template, there she is, and just go ahead and put it on the deck. It's kind of weird to do while <laughs> looking at the camera. Yeah. There we go. So I take the template, put it on there and just kind of trace around the nose and tail. And then that way I'll know, you know, 
where to sand whenever I get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and just trace around on the template on all of them. All right, and there we go. Got the decks kind of traced off. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is stick them back on the disc sander and just kind of get like a little rough sand. And then after I get the rough sand, then I'll take it to the belt sander and then kind of get the edges really smoothed off. So first things first is on the disc sander. Cheers, y'all. Alright, so I just kind of want to show you guys up close kind of what I just did. I just went ahead and kind of got it as close as I comfortably could get it to that line using the uh, the disc sander. The disc sander is usually a lot better for making flat lines, while the belt sander is kind of better for like contouring and shit like that. So, as you can see, it's kind of like, just really like, almost like, straight line straight line straight line straight I mean it's hard it's hard to get it nice and smooth and round on the disc sander but it's a lot quicker so I just go ahead and kind of get a little rough cut on all the decks and then now I'll go ahead and take it over to the uh, the belt sander and get it nice and close all right so this is like extremely difficult to get the camera like propped up in the right way to make it so that you guys can be able to see like I'm trying to Trying to see if it even looks all right, but I don't know. My hands might get in the way a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand these off on the belt sander. So here we go. All right, so my camera quit recording right after the third deck, so went ahead and finished them. I didn't really, you know, care to look, so I didn't really know what was going on in the meantime, but as you can, guys can see, the tails are nice and rounded off now. It's not as jaggedy looking, so that's pretty much gonna be it for the work on those today. I'm gonna find sand those another day. That's it for those, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that day I can put it in the mold before I sweat the death out here. Alright, so scratch that. Actually, what I'm going to do is buff those now since, like I said before, I really don't want to get the glue on my fingers and then start touching those. So I'm going to go ahead and buff those and, yeah, not spray because <laughs> then I want to do that so that I'm not sitting in paint fumes while I'm putting the deck in the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and buff those and set them aside. Alright, so decks are buffed, oh my god, I'm kind of put off to the side here. So now that I can actually get my fingers a little sticky, I'm going to go ahead and work on this deck, which is going to be a green and maple alternating ply deck. I don't know, kind of just reminds me of like the old school decks, like the old Primo and shit like that, whenever they used to do just like maple and walnut alternating, just looks kind of classy and old, like I don't know. Kind of like this deck with the maple and dark blue. Just looks looks classy. I mean, you can really notice the plies. So that's kind of what I'm going with this deck. It's just a maple and green alternating. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down some stripes of glue and get that thrown in the mold. All right, so here we go. We got the deck all glued up and thrown in the mold. So now I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it in the press. All right, so that's that. Got the deck in the mold, so that's good to go till tomorrow. So now what I'm gonna focus on, and pretty much the last thing I'm gonna do is just get these decks, their last coat of clear coat on. So once those are dry, they are ready to go, and they're gonna be looking beautiful. And they're gonna be ready to shred. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and spray down that last coat of clear on these and get back to you guys to kind of show you what they look like wet. So here we go. All right, so there we go, guys. Got our final coat laid down. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of what they look like. Yep. Like glass. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I'm sure you guys do as well. Check out this maple. The maple always looks like amazing. There you go. See it from the other light. Yep. So, I'm just gonna let those sit and dry. Once they're fully cured, they'll be ready to go. But that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Appreciate you guys checking in again. And as always, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, later y'all.